Hello and welcome to this lecture and in this lecture what we will do is that we are basically going to go ahead and learn how to set up these two text views. So if you are a little bit confused, I know a lot of you might be, uh, let me just switch back to the presentation so that uh, I could clearly explain what's happening over here. So if you look at this slide, as you could see, we have the second fragment designed over here. But the problem with this detailed fragment is that it basically cannot operate itself without having the information about which actual item on the first fragment we have selected. So if we have selected the first item, then this fragment actually needs to display different things. If the second item has been clicked, then in that case, it has to display different set of things. And if the third item is selected, then this fragment number two has to display different set of things. So how the fragment is actually going to decide which particular item is clicked. So in order to pass in that information, what we have done here is that we have created the menu ID variable over here, which basically states that, okay, once we have the fragment over here the menu ID is going to tell us which particular thing to select from the three options so in here in this case what we are going to do is that we are going to set the by default menu ID to be one and see how this thing works and we are later going to change that so once we have this menu ID thing set up the next thing which we need to do is that we basically need to go ahead and get a reference to the fragment and then we can set the menu ID. So the menu ID is actually going to be set up by the main activity. So what we will do is that we will go inside the main activity dot Java and in here in the on create the first thing which we will do is that we will get a reference to the menu detail fragment. So we will type in menu detail fragment and we are going to name this as frag let's assume and we are going to typecast it to menu detail fragment and then we are going to use the get fragment manager to basically get the fragment so we'll type get fragment manager dot find view by id that is going to basically find a fragment by using its id so r dot id dot and we are basically referring to this particular fragment and right now it does not have any ID. So let me just go ahead and give it an ID real quick. So this is going to be at plus ID. And let's say this is called as detail underscore frag. Not crack, that should be frag. Okay, so once we have this ID, you could reference to this fragment by specifying the ID as detail frag. Okay, so once we have a reference to this fragment, the next thing which we do is that we type frag dot set menu ID and we set the ID to be equal to one. So at the moment, what we are saying is that we are setting the ID to be one. We have not selected any ID yet. So by default, this is going to be one. So this is just a temporary thing, which basically says that we have selected the first ID, but in reality, we are actually going to make our application user to select this particular ID. Okay, now as you could see, we are having some error over here and in order to fix that, you need to go into the fragment and in the imports, you actually have to fix one thing. So this should actually be android.app.fragment, not support.v4.fragment. And once this thing is done, as you could see, the error actually is going to disappear. Okay, so once this thing is done, the next thing which we need to do is that once the ID is selected, we need the menu detail fragment, that is the second fragment to update its view. So what we will do here is that we'll go to the menu detail fragment and inside on create, what we will do is that we'll first get the reference to the text views. So even before doing that, we check if the save instance state is null. And if the save instance state is not equal to null, then we basically again set the menu ID. So we type in if saved instance state, if this is not equal to null, then in that case, we need to get the menu ID. So we type menu ID equals saved instance state dot get long. And this basically has to get the menu ID and i guess i missed one l over here okay so once this thing is done we are pretty much good to go and now what we need to do is that we need to create an on start method here which is basically going to set up the text views which we have in the fragment so we'll type in on start 
So on start is basically a method which we are going to use and this on start method is basically similar to the on start which you will have in the main activity. So this is actually going to first have a view. So in order to get a view we type view. Let's name this view as view and we use the get view method to basically get the view. So once we get the view the next thing which we do is that we check if the view is null. So if view is not equal to null that means we could proceed ahead and perform the things which we want. So the first thing which we do here is that we get a reference to the text view. So we type text view. This is going to be title equals text view. And this is going to be view dot find view by ID. So you basically cannot go ahead and directly type in find view by ID. Instead, you have to type in view dot find view by ID r dot ID dot and we get a reference to the text view whose ID is name. Then for the second text view for description, we type text view description and this should be equal to typecasted to text view. Again, view dot find view by ID r dot ID dot description. Okay, so once we have the reference to these two things, the next thing is to basically go ahead and set them. So even before setting those things, what we will do is that we will have a reference to the menu. So menu menu equals menu dot menus. So we basically get the exact item according to its ID. So we'll typecast this ID to int and we will pass in the menu ID over here. So from here you could understand uh, the significance of menu ID that is what exactly is the reason to basically set the menu ID and set up the variable named menu ID. So this menu ID is actually going to select the particular item from your menu class. So if you switch back to the menu class over here as you could see we have three items that is breakfast lunch and dinner and this menu ID is actually the deciding factor which is eventually going to decide which menu item has to be picked. Okay, so once this thing is done, we can set the title by typing title dot set text. And here you could type in menu dot get name. And you could also set the description by typing description dot set text and menu dot get description. Okay, so once this thing is done, we are pretty much good to go. So now let's uh, basically go ahead, save the code and let's basically try to run this application and see how this thing actually works. So I'm going to save the code and run this application on my device. So as you could see, the application is up and running on my device and we only have uh, the lunch items in our list, which is basically says lunch has three whole eggs and a broccoli. So if you have a look at the menu class, as you could see for lunch, we have three whole eggs and broccoli. And this thing is basically set to lunch because we have set up the ID or the menu ID equals to one in the main activity. So if you change this thing to zero, then we are going to have breakfast. So this was just to basically test our application if this thing actually works. And if your application works till now, that means you have done everything correctly. And now the next step in our application would be to add the first fragment. So we have successfully created the second fragment, which is the detailed fragment. And now what we will do is that we will go ahead and create our first fragment, which basically contains all the food items. So that's it for this lecture. And in the next lecture, we are going to design the first fragment. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.